One of the best features of uh, Revit is quick perspectives. I'm going to go to level one or site, whichever you like, and I'm going to establish my uh, camera over here by simply going to this place, down arrow, place my camera, put it right across along the path, right there, and that's how I like to see it, and hit enter, and it will give me the perspective. I can look at it with uh, realistic or consistent colors, and that's what I get to see. I can get closer if I like to. Now, this is not necessarily the best view, because I can't see the cut. I can't see the, the fact that it has two views. It generally is not a good idea to look at uh, buildings straight on, but I'm just trying to simply show you the path into this building uh, by uh, looking at it straight. Now I'm going to go back and create another view. Now if you come here and you see you have already created one view. Now I'm going to go back to site and create a slightly different view. So back here, camera. Now I'm going to get closer and I'm going to uh, take a look a little bit in that direction. So here you can actually see change of color. Here you can see that I can actually see the roof overhang, see the path. Notice how these are disappearing. Most of the times you don't want it to disappear. We'll talk about that in a second. Let's just quick, quickly take this, push it down a little bit more. So I'm going to go down to negative uh, 8 and apply. That looks more like a stepping stone and path that goes into the house right there. So here you get to see this view, but you still are not looking at both views, this pit plane and that plane. I'm going to turn it the opposite direction, see what happens. So watch, this is view number two. Now I'm going to go back to the site and I'm going to look at it slightly different camera. Now I'm going to place myself here and look at the two sides like this. All right. Now here you can see this view and that view. Let's again look at it. Consistent colors. Here's what you get to see. Let's go back and do one more. And come on over, camera. Now this time I would like to see inside, but a little bit to the corner and see what happens. Okay, so there you go. So here, the interior, you can see it right there. It actually doesn't look so bad. Let's take a look and color. Here you can see that you see the variation over here. I may decide to just slightly shift it this way. Notice how I'm just taking the roller and rolling it different directions so I get to see various corners. I really like this corner because I get to see the path, get to see this, but I see the interior against this. So this is certainly one view. Watch this. View 1, view 1, view 2, view 3, go back to view 1, 2, 3, Four. Now, 4 is really expressive of that slope. Even though I don't get to see both sides, I get to see two planes on the interior, and I get to see the alignment of the path and all of this.